And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie with Tint with me, your host, Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of, D of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 7, Episode 5. Gotta say, this, this episode was very interesting, and it kind of pretty much, it, well, for me, kind of confirms what I've been trying to figure out for, for I guess, years. But where does Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. stand in the MCU? And I think we kind of got an answer on that. You know, for me, I think it, it's clear that it is connected to the MCU. Because sometimes they, a lot of people say it's not connected. It was connected. Now that it's not because somebody else is running the TV division. And it's not Kevin Feige. But I still think it's connected. And I think last night's episode gave us an idea of maybe it is so basically, we got to see the team in, I believe, the 1960s, like near the end of it, near the early 70s. And um, Hydra had decided to team up with the um, the Chronicons. We got to see Malik team up with them because he got the information from the 40s. And, uh, you know, we know that Sonic is with the, the team now. And um, so we got to see Hydra pretty much build their big... Um, big uh, final plan that they had from a winter soldier the extremists I believe it was called remember those big hot hello carriers that they had and they were going to target you know potential heroes and potential threats to Hydra well they built it early so they just you know so the team had to literally figure out how to shut it down it was literally um, it wasn't hello carriers it was um, a rocket ship that was going to shoot out and send out a satellite that's going to target everybody. And one of the names that they found out that was being targeted was a young Bruce Banner, a.k.a. The Hulk, one of the members of the Avengers. So, yeah, I mean, they could. this could have been an Easter egg, sure, or it could have been tied into the MCU as well. But um, I, I personally think it's connected. I'm always going to think that, even if Kevin Feige says it's not, but who knows. But I thought that was pretty cool how they were going to have to stop extremists again you know because captain america did it once so they're gonna have to do it themselves with a, you know less damage so they literally the rocket got shot out because they they had to let it go um mac found out that you know he was gonna blow up um the lighthouse the lighthouse had the rocket that they were gonna use and he found out that his parents were there and they were gonna flood the place up so they decided not to do it abort the mission the rocket shot up in space and the team took the the quinjet to basically destroy it or whatever they call it, a jet to destroy the rocket and they all got caught kind of so what's gonna happen with them moving forward no idea they caught up with enoch so that was cool and we got to see Gemma. she's she got something going on with her she's got something in the back of her neck that's kind of like glowing a little red so what does that mean no idea I mean, when, when she was in space in last season with Fitz, you know, they were getting experimented on the, on the by the Chronicrons. So maybe they infected them somehow. Who knows? I mean, they didn't really show us any details of what was going on, except the fact that Enoch found out about it. So, and she's not acting like her normal smart self that she usually does. I mean, she's still smart, but she's not acting like her normal peppy self that she usually is. She's getting calculations kind of wrong now, so... She's, maybe something's going on. Maybe the chronic crunch are using her. Who knows? Um, Daisy and um, um, Peggy Carter's partner got caught. So there was that. And then um, Malice got killed by um, um, got killed by um, Gemma's um, grandson. So there was that. So and then, of course, the rest of the team were pretty much stuck in the Quinn, um, the Quinn Jet, so who knows what's going to happen with them. They even got sent forward in time a little bit due to the Chronicrons messing up with their machine, with their time jump machine. So that was interesting. Yeah, fun episode. I, I'm really enjoying the season so far. I just like how they go to different time zones. Enoch is staying behind, and then he doesn't age anyway, so he just meets up with them in the next you know, decade, and then his technology for that little bar that he has gets better and better, so that that's pretty interesting, so that that's pretty funny. 
Um, so yeah, it was an interesting episode. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this. And do you guys think that this proves that the MCU and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are in the same universe? Or you think this is just like a little Easter egg and... Oh uh, yeah, they're just saying that because they usually do that anyway. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you very much and have a good day.